hi everyone and welcome back to my channel for those of you that are new hi welcome my name is Micha Castillo and for those of you that are coming back hi girl how you doing how all are you how are how are all of you guys how are you guys today so I totally totally spaced out for today's video because I was supposed to record and I didn't and I just kind of brain farted this whole thing but <laughs> um this video might be a little bit shorter than my other nail vlogs um just because this time around my nail tech said that she didn't want me to record she had a problem or she had an issue um with someone else that had recorded in her because she does her she does nails from her house so she said she had an issue with someone and she just was gonna be like so i get nobody else is gonna be able to record and i'm like oh. so Thankfully, I still have footage from the last time she did my nails, so I might add that little piece into this vlog, which is her kind of like filing down my nails, um, <clears throat> just to kind of give this video a little bit more oomph. <clears throat> and I also totally forgot to vlog or record my nails before I got them done so you guys could see like the growth and girl I was missing diamonds left and right like I don't know what in the world my nails were going through because some of the the foil part was coming off of some of them like I had like a little bit left I had like a couple diamonds left on my nails my nails were a whole mess after this I went three weeks this time to see how far I could go they did pretty good these two fingers actually started lifting this one especially like half of my nail was actually lifting I look really dark I might have to fix that later um so yeah it was it was all bad like my let me see if this will oh it helped a little bit but then it's too bright whatever I'm sorry guys I'm still trying to like figure this whole camera thing out so I don't look too too dark and I don't look too too white I wonder if that'll I'm sorry you guys <laughs> and I can't see either. I'm like blind <clears throat> okay now I can see sorry for the for the glare that's gonna be going on but um so I went three weeks with um to get my next set sorry you guys my camera died so I'm like recording on my phone now <laughs> um where was I uh I think I said three weeks so, yes yeah, so I went three weeks this time to actually get my nails done um I'm going to see if I can show you guys um, or insert a clip of what my nails used to look like. Not with the growth because I totally forgot to do that. My fault. Usually I do show you guys. But I already fucked up this one. Um, I totally spaced out. And then I was running late to my appointment. Para variar. So I was like, you know what? Look at this. <laughs> So I ended up not recording. Anywho, this time around, I did something a little bit more. Sorry, I already messed up my nail. Um, a little bit more basic, I guess you could say, or a little bit more neutral, classic, if you want to put it that way. Um, I love my nails. Every single time I go to this girl, I am blown away every single time this time around usually when I keep going I shorten my nails this time I didn't so they're a little bit longer than even the very first time I got them done I'm running out of breath <laughs> I'm so like excited or juiced or whatever I don't know I had ice cream too so I'm probably like super hyper um so a little bit longer this time they're like 
I have a couple French um, square tips and I have a couple ombres. Uh, no stone this time. I wanted the design that I showed her was the same that I have, except the middle finger had stones. But this time I didn't want any stones. I kind of went, you know, little chic classic type of vibe. So that's what I did this time around. And you know me, my hands cannot match, okay? So obviously one hand is one side, you, you know? So it was a three week fill and nothing crazy. I haven't, I, my very first set was out of my comfort zone for sure that I've done recently. But total time, we, I start, we technically had the appointment at 10. She was running late. It was 10.15. I didn't get there until 10.20 because I had to, like, change my son in. It was just one of those days today. Um, she finished around 12.42. So, I would say 10.20, It took her three hours this time to do my nails, which is sorry <laughs> not out of the ordinary she's typically when she does my fills she takes about an hour and a half to like two hours depending on the design that i'm getting so also keep that in mind um i was gonna say payment right that's right right cost payment wouldn't that be the same thing porque le estoy pagando me está cobrando huh. So what I paid for this set, it was $70, which isn't that bad. The lowest she's ever charged me for a fill has been $60, which is the lowest she's ever charged for one of my fills. So that too. Um, honestly, I've never paid... For like a set, whether it was a new set or a fill, I've never paid more than a hundred for the nails. And then including tip, obviously, I am gonna be paying more than a hundred because girl does bomb ass work, so gotta give her her tip. Um you ready? So this is my left hand, if it'll focus. And so, obviously, this one has two ombres, three French. And on the other hand, it's going to be two French, three ombres. This is this one. And then this is the other one. I absolutely, oops. <laughs> I absolutely love my nails. Sorry. And then this is my nails together. Absolutely love them. And they are a lot longer. I don't know if you guys can see my nail growth. Can you guys see my nail growth? Like, my nails can never, and I mean never, grow that long without acrylics or without gel. It's so annoying. But... Oh, well. Anyways, so I absolutely loved him. This time around, I was actually kind of quiet going to her. I was like, mm. you know, just watching her. And we were watching TV too, so I was like entertained with the TV. I didn't really, we didn't talk too, too, too much. But I mean, it's fine. Anyways, 70 bucks in total. I ended up paying her $90 total. Um... Which isn't bad. I have paid her, I think, $100 before with, like, a set, including tip. Yeah, about 100 So, I'm not much on the bling-bling kind of thing. Like, you know, the girls have, like, the full-on bling sets. But anyways, <laughs> maybe we'll get there. Maybe we won't. Um, so, it's kind of basic. What do you... Would you guys? La, 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 la. <clears throat> Girl, get it together. Would you guys call this a classic, basic, 
or ordinary? What would you guys consider this set to be? Because to me, it's a classic. It's like basic bougie. Not bougie. I wouldn't say bougie because bougie is like diamonds and like super long, like bright ass colors to me at least. Um, I love them. They go with any outfit. I can look toda folonga, but my nails are going to be popping. Okay. All right, you guys, that's everything for today's video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of my nails. Is it classy? Is it chic? Is it basic? Let me know <laughs> what you guys think. And would you guys pay $70 for this set? And she charges for her time, not for the length or for the bling she puts on as I think I might be wrong about the blank part, but I know for her time, she definitely charges. She doesn't charge according to length, which is really cool. Most texts do charge per length, which is normal, but <clears throat> every tech does it differently. And I will catch you guys in my next video if I can keep up again. Tea, sis, tea. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.